Gower are a vulnerable species of wild cattle found throughout several Asian countries. Their largest populations are thought to occur in India, but overall, their numbers are declining, hence the whole vulnerable status. These hulking beasts have massive horns that curl up over their heads, and both the males and females sport these devices. Gower live in herds, usually with a dominant male and several females. During breeding seasons, the herd size may swell as more males join in, though they will disperse when the fun's done. Herds have a hierarchy that is determined through aggressive behavior among the members. If there's one thing that's for certain, it's that neither a human nor a house cat would want to be caught between two feuding Gower. Though, truth be told, cats are one of the only predators Gower face. Tigers, as well as crocodiles, take on and even kill Gower. Leopards and wild dogs also take a shot at them, however, it's nearly always younger or sickly animals that are brought down. Gower themselves are herbivores. The time of the year will determine the kinds of foods a gower will choose, but their main diet consists of grasses. They'll also eat leaves, shoots, fruits, and, in times of famine, even bark. It's crunchy, but still nutritious. The environments in which gower live cater to their dietary needs. Gower can be found living in grasslands and forests. They prefer moist evergreen and deciduous forests, but they'll live in drier areas for a time if they have to. Hills aren't a problem for these stocky animals, but they aren't too keen on mountain slopes, so they don't usually traverse higher than 6,000 feet. Gower spend most of their time eating, but during the hottest parts of the day, they'll rest. They're considered diurnal animals, however, it's been observed that some herds that come into contact with humans more frequently have adapted to become nocturnal in order to avoid confrontation with people. Some Gower don't have to worry about avoiding people, though, because they've actually been raised by humans. There's a domestic variant of Gower. Domestication has brought about some changes in the Gower's appearance. Can you spot the differences? In the wild, Gower darken as they age. Males are typically darker brown than the red females and tawny calves. Calves are born throughout the year depending on location, but they're always this adorable. Look at that face! Females will gestate for approximately nine months before giving birth to a single calf. The calf will nurse with its mother for up to eight months, and it takes two years before it's ready to begin breeding. There's documentation of a gower living 26 years in captivity, but their lifespan in the wild is still unknown. Due to their vulnerable status, gower have been utilized in cloning studies in which they have been successfully cloned. These awesome animals are also featured on one of the most well-known energy drinks. Well, at least in the US. What's it like for you guys living anywhere but here? For more facts on Gower, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up for awesome animals, and thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.